Well, today marks 40 years since the country's first Bahamian Governor General, Sir Milo Butler, passed away at the age of 72. Considered a national hero, he is remembered as a strong businessman as well. But to Alan Butler, who spent his first 20 years of life under Sir Milo's wings, he'll also always be remembered as granddad. My fondest memory of my grandfather is the fact that he, he allowed me to be a child. And despite the fact that he did the things that he did on an ongoing basis, business-wise and so on, he tried his best to incorporate me, but yet still allowed me to have the fun involved with it. For instance, um, I would get home from school in the afternoons, and he would be sitting in his office at Government House. Mm -hmm. And I would just go over to his office, and he would order uh, a beverage from the afternoon for myself, a ginger ale, as he would have in the afternoon. And whilst he's sitting signing documents and everything else, he'd have me just along with him. So he allowed me to be inclusive in all the things that he did, but yet still he had time to have fun with me as a child. And so I, I felt as though what he was doing was not even work, because I found he spent more time, he spent just as much time playing with me and having fun with me as he would doing his work and getting things done. And so I enjoyed that time that I spent with him because we had, we had very intimate moments together and I, I, I cherish that and I will cherish that for the rest of my life. Now Butler believes his grandfather's legacy should be an inspiration to all Bahamians. I would like for him to be remembered really as someone who, who lent himself to the people. But I don't want people to stop there. I want whatever he has done in order for to be really be proud, for people to be able to build on the things that he would have, that have been written about him, that are all true. And they may be good, and some may be, some may be bad. However, to build on those things as individuals in their own respective lives, and to see how they can better the nation as a large, because that's what, what he was. He was a nation builder. Just as Lyndon Pinlin was a nation builder, he was a nation builder as well. And I think, it would do justice and make them feel very proud to know that individuals of this commonwealth and this archipelago have done the same. That would make them most proud, and that's how I wish for him to be remembered, as individuals and being able to see Milo Butler and not just his family, but being able to see him in the entire Bahamas and people who actually call themselves Bahamian, wherever they may be, whether they be here or representing us internationally.